Hi, my name's John Goldsby. You're about to watch a video from my Discover Double Bass course, Tell Your Story, Creating a Jazz Bass Solo. Enjoy. Let's talk about guide tones. Guide tones is a term uh, referring to the upper structures of chords that define the quality of the chord, whether the chord is major or minor, whether the seventh of the chord is major or minor, and uh, any alterations on the dominant chords. Uh, on Autumn Leaves, you can pick a lot of cool guide tones, and the melody is actually based on uh, what we would call guide tones. Here are some guide tones that I, I chose through the uh, yeah, melody and harmony to Autumn Leaves. One, two, three, four, one. Now you can pick your own guide tones. There are many paths through the harmony, and uh, that's part of the uh, reflection of telling your story. It's the way you hear it through these changes. And if you hear different soloists play, you'll hear that they take different paths through the harmony. Uh, one thing I like to do is take these guide tone ideas and just hook them up with, uh, yeah, scale passages, arpeggios, or chromatic passages. One of the problems with uh, bass players improvising solos that I hear when they're starting out is they feel like they've walked all these choruses. And then when they get to the bass solo, it's something different. They All of a sudden, they have to start playing licks. Licks are nice. They help you get around the bass. But to me, uh, the solo is just as organic as the bass line. It just describes a different part of the tune in a different way. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take these guide tones and just connect them with, I'm not sure what, chords, scales, or chromatic uh, you know, passing phrases. Uh, the one thing I'll mention is you'll notice in measure 14, uh, I didn't pick one particular guide tone, I just put the whole D altered scale. You can pick any of those notes as a guide tone. You can play the whole scale, you can play a phrase from that scale. So here's my take on this guide tone exercise. So here's Autumn Leaves. One, two, one, two, three, four, one. So the great thing about guide tones is they're, to me, they're just like the bass line, like finding the root on beat one, you can find a guide tone on beat one, 
and then you can lead into the next guide tone rather than hit the chord and then play your lick. That's a concept I really uh, adhere to and I try and teach my students. They should play into the guide tones and that keeps the forward motion going in your solo. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to learn more about the course, the links to the videos are provided below.